Hi, my name's John. I'm a Terradio Callsign M7CPT. In a previous video, I spoke about the Carrington events and how that could affect the cell towers. I've been asked, could it affect stuff beyond that? So in this video, I'm going to be detailing a lot of what would actually be affected. The Carrington event occurred at the beginning of September in 1859. It was a solar mass ejection during high sunspot activity. While most people only saw the aurora at low latitudes close to the equator. Some people even believed it was caused by neighboring towns on fire and rushed to help. Most just enjoyed the light show. At the time, the only cross country wires were the telegraph systems. They became extremely highly charged within themselves to the point where even some telegraph poles were set on fire. Telegraph operators received electric shocks from the Morse keys and were forced to disconnect the batteries, fearing they would explode, covering everything in lead acid. Even with the batteries disconnected, they could continue to send messages using only the charge in the wire. If it happens again in our time of reliance on modern technology, how much would be affected? Satellite signals would be blocked. Some satellites would be damaged or even destroyed by the solar wind. GPS will not work in cars or on phones. Aircraft will be forced to navigate manually and land as soon as possible to avoid the worst of the solar radiation. The electricity grid wires would be excessively charged, causing widespread damage to the transformers at the supply and substations on a global scale. Gas, water and oil supplies would stop due to their control systems relying on electricity. There would be no more internet no banking services would function. Credit and debit cards would become useless. Petrol shortage would soon follow due to the lack of power and oil at the refineries. There would be a food shortage due to trucks inability to deliver. Farmers would have to destroy a lot of the food they produce. Just as in the last crisis, the farmers had to empty the milk into the drains. But during this crisis, they wouldn't have the power to operate the milking machines to milk all their cattle. Manual milking takes time and they don't have enough people to fall back on that are trained in milking a cow by hand. Therefore, a lot of cattle would become infected and have to be put down. The meat could not be used due to the infection. It has been said that modern society is four meals or two weeks without power, away from anarchy. Once a solar mass ejection has passed Earth, the Earth's magnetic field continues to fluctuate, maintaining or magnifying the charge in the wires for days and even weeks, continuing the damage done to the power grid. If estimates are in any way accurate, we are due a Carrington level solar mass ejection. Lloyds of London have estimated the cost of the cleanup to be in the trillions and would take years. NASA has launched several satellites to watch the sun closely. 
But even then, they can only give a maximum of three days warning of such an event. In my previous video, I alluded to the possibility that there could be something worse than a single Carrington event. When solar mass ejections occur, on occasions, multiple ejections are fired in the same direction. If this was aimed at Earth, the effect would be cumulative and progressively worse and worse. How likely is a solar mass ejection to affect Earth? After all, the Carrington event was way back in 1859. Let's look at some more recent dates. 1972, during the height of the Vietnam War, sea mines exploded as a result of a solar mass ejection. In 1989, Quebec in Canada was blacked out for nine hours straight. In 2003, in South Africa, grid transformers were melted. Sweden was also blacked out. 2012, the Earth had a near miss by as little as one week of a Carrington level event. In 2017, we had another near miss. We are still overdue for that direct hit. Do you have a skill set that would be useful in the world that remained afterwards? Do you have an ability you can trade for food? While the chaos continues. The solar maximum is already showing signs of being a grand solar maximum. The risk of a Carrington event is pretty high. In amateur radio, we know this. We're preparing. For the grid down situation that would occur should we receive a direct hit at the level of the Carrington event or worse. Are you ready? For whatever comes? You just live on in the memories of others. <laughs> well, you know what dangers are out there before you even open the door. Or is it all too late for you? Do you really need amateur radio? Would you risk being without it? 
next time things go wrong. Is this where you want to end up? They still have space. Are you going to be one of the ones that fills it? Or will you be ready?